everybody, my name is Mia, the creative cellist, and I wanted to talk to you today about improvisation. A lot of cellists that I work with come from a classical background, so they're kind of used to reading music, reading what's on the page, and then playing it on their cello. But a lot of cellists these days tell me that they'd like to learn how to improvise or make up their own music on the fly. So I've been doing this for many, many years. Since I was a teenager, I started to play around with my cello and compose songs and improvise. And I've been starting to work with my students in recent years to help them kind of develop that skill as well. So one of the ways that I like to help people start improvising on the cello is to make very simple patterns that you can learn and repeat that you can use as kind of a foundation for your improvisation. So one pattern that I'd like to show you that's very common for beginner improvisers is to learn the minor blues scale. So we're going to learn a very simple finger pattern. We're going to try it first without the bow. So if you can put your bow down for this exercise. What you're going to do is you're going to play five notes. So this is the D minor pentatonic scale with the blues note. So we're going to play the notes and you can try them with me. First of all, we're going to play open D, then F with your first finger. So for those of you who are familiar with positions, this is in the second position, F with first finger, G with third finger, then we're going to play A flat or G sharp. And this in blues is known as the blues note, and it's what gives blues its kind of nice bluesy flavor is this note. Then we're going to play open A. Then C with your first finger, still in the second position. And then finally D with your third finger. So if we go over those notes again, we have D, open D, first finger F third finger G, fourth finger A flat or G sharp, open A, C, and D. So these are the set of notes that we're going to use for improvisation. But before we do that, what I'd like to do is play these notes up and down in a bluesy kind of a way. So if you've ever listened to blues, they use um, a form of eighth notes called swing. So instead of playing eighth notes like this, like we would in classical music, in blues, they swing the notes. And what's meant by that is that the first eighth note is longer and the second eighth note is shorter, so it sounds like this. Try with me after four. One, two, three, and four, and. And back. Great, so now that you've learned that very simple pattern, what you can do is play with this pattern and try putting the notes in a different order. So the name of the game here is improvisation, which means you're making up or putting the notes in whatever order you like. And a little rule that I like to remember when I'm improvising is that there's no such thing as a mistake. So don't worry about what's coming out. Just kind of think about expressing yourself and playing these notes in a different order. So after four, let's play together. You can play some notes. You can play the same as me, or you can play something different. They'll sound great together. Let's try that. After four, one, two, ready, go. order. So this is something that you can play around with and that's the beginning of improvisation. Basically taking a set of notes and then rearranging them in your own creative way with your own rhythms and your own style. Now let's try that same thing but this time we're going to pick up our bows. First of all let's play 
this blue scale up and down once in swing style, and then we're gonna try to play around with the notes and change the order of them. After four, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> So I have a very simple keyboard. Um, what I recommend is just buying a very simple like Casio keyboard or some kind of keyboard that has like a different, um, has sets of rhythms on it. And then just press play on one of those rhythms and find a rhythm that you like that you could play along to. So I'm going to play a, a blues rhythm on my keyboard and we're going to play this blues improvisation along to the beat. After four. One, two, three.